I wanted to make a crystal oscillator for higher frequencies and found my first inspiration in this circuit in this book from 1964 written by one of the trainers at the Philips laboratory in the Netherlands anyway this was my first inspiration and I tried to make it and it didn't work though I have to say I didn't spend so much time on it but I found that I could um, uh, omit the coil that means that you have a circuit here where the crystal is connected between the emitter and the collector here we have the, the setting of the working point so this was the final circuit that did work properly and I want to show it first in its completeness and here it is on the breadboard with a crystal from uh, 24 megahertz mega cycles and this is the waveform on my 20 megahertz scope and the frequency uh, the good thing from this circuit is that it wants to oscillate so even when you uh, remove the crystal and remove this capacitor that damps high frequency on the power supply lead so when you re remove it it starts to oscillate and then it oscillates on the frequency from the wiring but that's a bad thing but also a good thing uh, it's eager to oscillate and uh, I connected here the crystal and I found that these crystals worked and there were also crystals that did not work and they were here anyway perhaps it has to do with the, the, the type of crystal and that's the reason why I've written here certain crystals uh, crystal is cut out of quartz that's here for instance rose, rose quartz and the way that the, uh, the quartz crystal is cut uh, gives the crystal certain properties uh, when it's cut under a certain way it's an could be an overtone crystal that means that the crystal oscillates not on its basis frequency its ground frequency but on an harmonic and I found that also here when I use crystals uh, that were say 10 megahertz or so I could see on the scope that they uh, oscillated on their on an harmonic so anyway I think it's a very good circuit to do experiments with I've used a typical high frequency transistor the BF194 its equivalent is the BF195 I did not test the BF195 these are the properties and the pin connections and the crystals that worked are here so I think it's a useful circuit for experiments and of course uh, set the working point and the oscillation with the help of this potentiometer here and when all is made properly it works uh, take the pot meter out measure it with an ohms meter and then replace it by two fixed value resistors <laughs>